And some people did like my film a lot. And a really nice guy invited me to show my film in his cinema in a small town in Sicily. I think of my haircut. Very nice barber. I guess what I'm trying to say is that I think the path of vainglory is definitely the path I'm on is also the path of humiliation, which is also definitely the path that I'm on. And these things that the ego tells you will make you feel better by yourself and to make you feel worse by yourself. But that's not a reason not to do it. It's just what I guess I'm here to learn on this earth. And I'm learning it. It was great to see you in San Francisco. And I have been reading your book, which I love. And I hope to see you soon. Bye, Bill. Oh, can you hear me? Can you hear me? <laughs> yeah, that's awesome, Kai. I'd love to know what the present Kaveh thinks about the past Kaveh's I, thoughts. I like, I like, I like this. <laughs> I'm impressed. Um, hello, Dasha. Can you hear us? Uh, yeah, can you hear me? <clears throat> can you hear Dasha, Bill? I do, I do. Hi. Hey, Dasha. Um, uh, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Have you ever seen any of Bill Brown's films? I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> you're in a proud, you're in a proud crowd of those who have not <laughs> proud. <laughs> what am I in the world? Uh, well, um, probably it's good to see. I guess I should check out. So Okay. <laughs> I don't want to take a no, no, no. I really miss you. I, I hope I see you soon. Same here, Pave. We send, Sabine and I both send hi's and hellos to you. So. Okay. If, uh, if I'm in North Carolina, if you can, uh, or, or come to New York. Yeah, well, you know, we've been trying to figure out a way, you know, we've got this film festival, and as, if you're up for it, we're, we definitely still want to figure out a way to get you down. I mean, that's a conversation to have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want to. I want to, I want to, I want to. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye. <laughs> he is such a great guy, that guy. Hi, Kobe. Hey. Um, are you in New York City? I am, yeah. I just woke up. <laughs> I Really? Uh, and uh, are those your pajamas? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I'm calling from bed. <laughs> cool. Um, Are you tired? Am I tired? Yeah. Uh, uh, not as much as you look. <laughs> <laughs> totally. I'm, I'm tired deep down. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, I was going to talk about uh, how we know each other, and I was going to show some clips. Okay. And, uh, or Or whatever. Um, that sounds I'll good. I'll start. Or do you want to start? You start. Um, how we know each other? Sure. Yeah. Um, we met. God, it must have been twenty nineteen, right? Sounds right. And no, probably before that. Eighteen. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I auditioned for the show about the show. That's how we oh, met. That was the first time we met? I think so. Jack Dunphy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but did you also audition for the Cornell? I don't think so. It was just a show? Just a show. Uh-huh. And uh, so Jack With Jack Dunphy. <clears throat> yeah. So Jack was raving about you, and he was saying this incredible actress that I met, she's so good. She's gonna be like really huge. And he was like, I real she's so good that I don't want you to use her. I wanna be the only person who uses her, but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you this tip <clears throat> because I really out of out of kindness, but you should really use her. And I was like, okay. 
<laughs> so so then Ashley had quit and we were trying to find a replacement. And we um we 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 gave you we showed you a, a clip of Ashley um getting upset um in the making of footage. And then uh are you finding it? And um and uh, and then we showed it to you, and then we had we asked you to, to do the those lines, and uh, and you did, and you did a really good job, I thought. Um, oh, thank you. Let's do Ashley upset. Okay. Uh, uh, let's do banana. Yeah, and then <laughs> here's here's the original. I just need you to like eat a banana in a neutral way. It doesn't feel like you're super sad. Well, I can't not be super fucking sad, okay? Well, so either we need to act not sad, or- well, you need to find a fucking actor. Okay, that was number one. <laughs> Let's see number two. Uh, there were three different clips. I think I maybe put them all together, but here's the next one. Actually, the whole thing is show. Yeah, it's not just a fucking show though. It yeah, fucking yeah. ruined my fucking life. You okay. know, like this That's whole true. thing is not and fucking you, funny and fun and anymore. Maybe we should just not, not, not. Yeah. 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 <laughs> You're smiling. <laughs> and you said afterwards. I don't want to get kiss you though. Okay. Well, you don't have to kiss me. I got someone to replace you for Great. that. Great. So you have to replace me for the whole thing. But Okay, and so let's do Dasha. Uh, let's do Dasha, clip one, and two, and three. Okay. Okay. Um, you just give me this clock. I just need you to like eat a banana in a neutral way as if like you're super sad. Well, I can't not be super fucking sad, okay? So either we need to act not sad. Well, you need to find a fucking actor. Feel free to interject at any point. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've never seen I've never seen these. Uh, oh wait, you've never seen these. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's great. Because oh, I just need you to like eat a banana in a neutral way that doesn't feel like you're super sad. Well, I can't not be super fucking sad, okay? So either we need to act not sad. Well, then you need to find a fucking actor. Wow, I'm doing a good job. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, so we showed you one at a time. That's what happened. I think so, yeah. The next one. Okay. Actually, the whole thing is this show, right? Yeah, it's not a fucking show though. This ruined my fucking life. I think mean, the whole thing is this show. Right? Yeah, it's not a fucking show though. This thing ruined my fucking life, you know? It's not fucking funny. It's not fun anymore. Are you good? Are you good with that? Are you good with it? Are you good with it? Okay. 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 And you said afterwards, I'm sorry. I don't want to kiss you though, okay? You don't have to kiss me. I got someone to replace Great, so how about replace me for the whole thing? Uh, and you said afterwards, I'm sorry. I don't want to kiss you though, okay? You don't have to kiss me. I got someone to replace you for that. Great, so how about replace me for the whole thing? And then do the last one. Cool. We have a question from the chat. Jack. Uh, so, so why, why the fuck wasn't she cast? cast? 
Um, well, she wasn't cast because we never shot the scenes, the scenes yet. Um, and then Ashley said she she would play herself. Um, oh yeah. Um, and uh, I think maybe I don't remember this correctly, but I think someone told me something like um, Odasha thinks that you uh, didn't like a performance or something, and you didn't cast her. And I and I was like, no, I just I liked the performance a lot. I just uh, we hadn't shot it, and then and then Ashley said you would do it. But I, you know, that still may not happen. But uh, that's that's the answer to that question. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, I didn't assume you didn't like my performance. I guess it was. I think it was 2019. <laughs> Did that change? I looked depressed in those in those videos, <laughs> and seeing them really takes me back to yeah where I was. In where my, where in were? My, where were you? I think I was just really, I was like having a kind of, for me, a pretty major depressive episode, I think. <laughs> Wait, weren't you getting married or something around then? Oh my God. I was, engaged, I was engaged to be married, yeah. Or yeah. maybe my engagement was falling apart. Or, yeah, I, don't I think know. that's what it was. <laughs> yeah. And, and that Jack Dunphy movie, I did never saw the light of day either. Well, it's still he's still working on it, right? I don't know. I don't know what's happening with it. I Galen, the producer, told me that I was they kind of cut my parts out because it was sort of uh, "Watch Me Drown" was the title when I did it. It's all doc now, yeah, exactly. They like cut all the the reenactments and stuff out. Really? Mm -hmm. huh. Yeah. Interesting. He was so excited by your by your performance. I know, but I was, yeah, there was a lot of futility in, in my life then, I think. <laughs> and uh, now, what do you, you just made this new film. Um, what are you working on now? Um, I'm working on a couple scripts. I have sort of an idea of the, um, how I want to make my next two movies, but more will be revealed, I guess. One's about the Civil War or like the Reconstruction era. It's like a period piece. Huh. And the other one is about um, like karaoke hostesses, escorts in Koreatown in Los Angeles. Oh. And that one's kind of like a thriller, I guess. Oh. My brother told me about that scene. Karaoke hostesses. Yeah, he he's 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 done that. He patronizes them. Yeah. Yeah, I worked as one for a couple of years before in Koreatown. In Koreatown yeah. Oh. I in LA. In LA, yeah. I lived in LA for um, five years before I moved to New York. Oh. Yeah, I lived in Koreatown for a while. Um, I don't know what it's like now. At the time, it was a pretty bad neighborhood. It's not the best neighborhood. Yeah, but I like, cause I don't, um, I don't know how to drive a car. So oh. I lived there cause it was like walkable uh -huh. and I could do my, my hostessing <laughs> career. Wow. wow. Mm -hmm. um, and so you're dividing your time between directing, acting and the podcast? Basically. Anything else? Anything else? <laughs> oh, just the, there's that multi-hyphenate yeah um and my movie's coming out yeah over the next few months and succession which i was shooting up until this summer is going to come out in october as well is that ongoing or is that like a, a one-time thing to be to be determined i don't know uh -huh. if they're going to bring me back for the fourth season but they might one of my um, ex students' boyfriend has a agency. Uh, you were like, no agency. I don't remember the name, um, but uh, she said me like you have like all these different people now, like you're like a team of people, like handlers or 
manage your agent. So. Yeah, I have a whole team of handlers. <laughs> How big is the team? I was like, wow. Well, I have an agent, a manager, a lawyer, a publicist. <laughs> and then there's people at my management and talent agency who are like underlings of my, you know, so they're also on the team. <laughs> but these aren't like, these aren't, these aren't like full-time people. These are like, uh, they have lots of different, they're different clients. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, yeah, Otherwise yeah. I wouldn't, I don't think right. I've, I've made like $30. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was imagining like poor people who are always hovering around you. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh-huh. But they're, yeah, they're, on, they're on the team. Um, and anything you want to talk about? Mm, someone asked how we can buy or watch Scary of 61st. Um, it'll be on like TVOD in, in December. And prior to that, it'll be at like various festivals and stuff. Isn't it, there, isn't there like a theatrical release? Also, also in December, yeah, but not a lot of theaters in uh, New York City are, are brave enough to show my, my perverted movie. Uh-huh. Um, but you were going to come to show, you were going to come to my class like in November or something, right? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. But I remember thinking that we were doing it then because it was going to come out before that. Is that, is um, that it, back a little bit? Well, it, it's premiering officially in October. Okay. In, L- in LA is the like US premiere at Beyond Fest. <clears throat> um, so yeah, so I wanted to do it after that. So it's not a problem, the date still so fine. Huh? So the date still works, the November date. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah, how come? <laughs> um, I don't know, because I've never like, shown a film in a classroom context and huh. I don't know. It seems like it'll be it'll be interesting to interact with like students and for to gauge their like impre- impressions of the film. They'll, they'll probably hate it. Yeah, I, I doubt it. Mm. Why do you think they'll hate it? Well, last time I saw you, you were sort of talking about the the cultural climate of mm-hmm. of yeah. college. Yeah. It's probably, it'll probably be, you know, some people here will love it. Uh, yeah, issue like a, a trigger warning or something beforehand. <laughs> oh, I see. I see too. Um, and then, should we ask these questions? Sure. Is this question, to, this is all to, to Dasha, I assume. What does your dad think of your films? Or is that to me? I don't know. My dad? He hasn't seen it. Okay. Uh, I think he's scared too. Uh, has Dasha met Anne? Is the next question. I have met Anne. <laughs> yeah, we had dinner together um, a couple of weeks ago. Kavi, do, uh, do you want to say more? Kavi, do you think Jeffrey Epstein was murdered? I, I do. Do you? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kavi, <laughs> have you listened to Red Scare? Yes. You have. A little bit. Yeah. Where is the scary 61st being screened in New York City? I don't know yet. What um, does Dasha, okay. No, no, go ahead. What does Dasha make of the reaction to scary at 61st? Um, I thought it was well, well received out of Berlin. I was happy with some of the critical response, but then it did leak pretty thoroughly over the summer. Leak? Leak, like a, a file of it online. Oh, uh-huh. Um, and then people were torrenting it as like, the file name was like Dasha's shitty, awful, boring movie. That was the title? <laughs> That's the new <laughs> title. And yeah, and then a lot of people, I think, watched it in, you know, bad faith and... Meaning they wanted to dislike it, you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Not that it's like 
a mass, you know, a masterpiece. It's a flawed film, but I think it was, it's been held by some of my haters to a level of scrutiny that is like, you no know, independent films are held to. <laughs> and I feel like people almost don't even really know how to watch movies anymore. Uh -huh. Gosh, have you seen The Card Counter or First Reformed? Yes. I feel like, I feel like it's very similar to these movies with characters who are obsessed over collective public trauma. Hmm. That's interesting. Well, Card Counter, it's, you know, the Oscar Isaacs character, it's his personal trauma also. I liked, I liked them, I liked Card Counter more than, than First Reformed even. Um, but I'm a really big Schrader fan. So I kind of yeah. like it all. Um, my favorite Schrader film is uh, Comfort of Strangers. You know that one? I love that one. Oh my God. I think about that movie all the time. Um, particularly Christopher Walken's like weird performance in it. Um, have you seen Patty, his Patty Hearst one? I haven't. Also with Natasha Richardson from Comfort of Strangers. It's a weird, it's a weird one. Um, Scary of 61st was fantastic. Bravo. Thank you. <laughs> Dasha, how did you meet Eugene Kogurenko? And Kavi, how do you know Eugene? Why don't you go first? Um, Eugene was flirting with me on Facebook when I was like in college. And then when I moved to LA, I like encountered him um, at like a Halloween party in 2013. And I know Eugene because when uh, you were recommended to me, I wanted to see you act in something and I watched Wobble Palace. So that's yeah. when I first encountered Eugene. And then I met him, I think for the first time at that party a few months ago with you. Oh, wow. Cool. Did you, how, how did you like him? He seemed very nice. He's um, nice. I had heard his uh, Ion podcast interview, mm -hmm. which I really liked. Like I was like, oh, this guy's really got a good mind. Um, mm -hmm. um, I didn't love the Abu Palace, but I, I really liked your performance in it. Um, you mentioned that to me, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry? You mentioned that to me after you, after you oh, yeah, watched yeah. <laughs> you, care, you care for it. Um, I haven't seen Spree yet, uh, but he's coming to my class also. Oh, great. We show Spree. Um, oh. And then Matthew Weiss uh, asks, does Dasha know the films of the other Mark Rappaport? No. The other, is, there, is there a Mark Rappaport that you my know? Produce, my producer is named Mark Rappaport. Oh, oh, oh. As well. No, I don't know. Um, oh, sorry. Just a few minutes left, okay. Um, Mark Rappaport makes exper experimentalish films. He did a film called The Diaries of Gene, Gene Seberg mm -hmm. or The Diaries of Rock Hudson, both of those. Um, but, but no, she doesn't know the answer. No, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not really a cinephile, to be honest. Have you seen Autofocus? I have, good. <laughs> it's, Paul, it's Paul Schrader, right? Autofocus. I don't know. Yeah, I, I think so. I, okay, okay. Um, which directors would you most like to work with as an actor? Me? Yeah. Javier Zahadi. <laughs> um, Good answer. Um, I mean, I don't know. I'd love to work with like, French directors, but I don't speak French, so. You could play it's, the American girl. I know, but they don't, there's Any not the French director? <laughs> Any French director? Like Isaias or like Bertrand Bonello, or like Claire Denis, you know. Like, like so Bertrand like, Bonello a lot? I do, I do. I, we, we, I met him that night at that party with you. Oh yeah, and, I met yeah. him, yeah. yeah. And, uh, and then I went and I didn't, I didn't know his work at all. I went and watched, um, is Yves Saint Laurent film after that? Have yeah, you know? I have, yeah. Um, and then which actors would you most like to work with as a director? 
I'm not sure if that's to you or to me, but why don't you answer it first and then I'll answer it. Um, I don't know. I'd like to work, I'd like to work with some, I'd like to discover some, some new talent, I think. Yeah? Yeah. Um, I'll answer it, uh, Dasha. And then um, I was going to do a film with Crispin Glover. I was excited to work with him. And at one point I was going to do a thing with Vincent Gallo. That would have been fun. Yeah, definitely. Um, or, yeah, or crazy making. Um, and uh, God, Sheila Booth. He's like, like one. yeah, I would. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'd sort of like Robert Pattinson, I think. You would Sh like to work with Robert Pattinson? Yeah, Shia LaBeouf doesn't really appeal to me, so he's a good actor. I really liked him in uh, that that peanut butter Falcon one. You see that? No. He was really good in that. He's um, a good. Yeah, I was a fan of him when he was on like Even Stevens as a child. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, has Kavi met Adam Friedland? Oh. I don't know who that is. Do you? That's my former. Uh, fiance. Oh, the one that you were engaged to. Yes. And we're sad about. It. Yeah, I mean, I was around, sad about around 2019. It. Yeah. No, I haven't. Yeah. Um. Okay. Um. So, uh, anything else you want to talk about before we go? <laughs> I don't think so. How's okay. the time going? Well. I guess it's hard to yeah. judge. What's what's the measure of well? You know. I guess your your subjective experience of that. Oh yeah, it's going well. Uh, we, we're having a little some computer problems, but um, subjectively, I'm good. <laughs> oh, you're hanging in there. Um, but thank you for doing this. Uh, it's really nice to talk to you. Um, nice to meet you. And uh, and uh, and yeah, I'll see you. I'll see you uh, in my class if not before. Yeah, looking forward to it. Okay, take care. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. See you in a while.